according to the contract worth up to $4.2 billion. By the end of 2017, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner will start flying human crews to the International Space Station. Boeing and another U.S. spacecraft manufacturer, SpaceX, say they can fly astronauts to lower orbits for about $20 million less than the current Russian spacecraft Soyuz. Since both vehicles are in advanced stages of development, astronauts are already training in flight simulators such as the one built by Boeing. It's one of a couple different types of simulators that we'll have. This is primarily for getting to understand the, the systems and the cockpit layout and how the, the person, the crew member inside is going to interact. The design of commands for spacecraft has changed considerably since the early days of space flight. Instead of hundreds of switches and knobs, astronauts will fly by intuitive commands and touch-sensitive screens. You know, it's like learning how to drive a car, except for now you're going to learn how to drive a spaceship. In the meantime, NASA is developing its new Orion spacecraft and a more powerful rocket called Space Launch System. The agency wants to turn low-orbit flights over to commercial firms in order to concentrate on deep space missions such as the first manned flight to Mars. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.